the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to Pax Christi and to all of our uh, wonderful guests who are with us tonight. Tonight we will especially have opportunity to welcome Zachary Neese, who is going to make his full profession and reception into our Catholic faith. With him this evening is his friend and sponsor, Christopher Yant. With him as well are his parents, Richard and Sherry. Raise your hands. His fiance, Claudia Mendoza, and all of her family gathered as well. Welcome to you all. Um, let's think of the times that we are most eager uh, and excited in our faith. And let's ask the Lord now to keep us in that uh, spirit. With the death on the cross, you were raised. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Your merciful love fills the whole world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd, leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And now let's offer our prayer of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said, Leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely, by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, whom you crucified, whom God has raised from the dead, in his name, this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. 
The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my savior. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his kindness endures forever. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. A reading from the letter, first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do not know we do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. A hired man who is not a shepherd and whose sheep are, are not his own sees a wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf catches and scatters them. This is because he works for pay and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know mine and mine know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father and I will lay down my life were the sheep. I have another sheep that do not belong to this fold. These also I must lead, and they will hear my voice, and there will be one flock, one shepherd. This is why the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own. I have power to lay it down and power to take it up again. This command I have received from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. I know my sheep, and they know me. We all want to be known by the Father and by Jesus. And 
we all want to know Jesus better and better. But how do we do that? How do we get to know Jesus better and better? Fortunately, we have uh, uh, an example of someone who over the years has grown closer and closer to Jesus and is doing so tonight as well. So how did Zachary come to know Jesus better? And how did he come to know and appreciate more and more that Jesus knows him? I'm not going to ask um, Zachary to come up and explain that to us tonight. I will take the risk of speaking for him without knowing all of his history. But we must know that he came to know Jesus, to hear Jesus' voice, first of all, in his family, from his mother and father, and in the Christian tradition in which he grew up. How do we get to know Jesus? Through the people that we love. Now today, all the parents who are here. You can see reflected in Zachary and in his mom and dad the important role of making sure that your children grow up and they know that Jesus loves them and that they get to know about Jesus. Then there came an important time uh, that I think Zachary came to learn a, a new way, an important way to know about Jesus and the Father and to know that the Father knows him. And that's when he met Claudia, falling in love with Claudia. That's a really fundamental and important way to know about God's love for us. When, we, when, when you, when we fall in love, I'll say thee. And recognize in, in the grace and the beauty and the power of that love, recognize that's God. God's in that. And when we try to make sure that that love is a faithful love, a pure love, when we face the moments where we have to really meet the crises in that loving relationship, in all those we come to see God and God's love for us and that God knows us. It's very important for a couple to share with one another. And then there are times when a couple know each other better than they know themselves. Did that come out right? <laughs> when the fiancé knows her beloved better than he knows himself. Okay, well that's true of God too, right? God knows us better sometimes than we know ourselves because God is always calling us to something better and greater. Then there's our Catholic tradition, which Zachary chose to investigate and is now choosing to be a part of. So all that makes up our Catholic tradition helps us to know God better and to know that God loves us more. And as he makes his profession of faith today, I hope it will be a renewal for all of us here tonight to just be remembering, I want to know Jesus better and I know, want to know my faith better all the time because I can never stop growing closer to God and to Jesus. So the whole Catholic tradition and all of its teachings 
especially represented by Melissa and Harley. By Steve and Judy, where are you? I know you're here. Where? Way over here. Har you know Harley? In case any of you don't know Melissa, she's in the back. <laughs> Part of our RCIA team. But even, even more than that, coming to know the power of the actual inspired word of God. Being devoted to that, you know, be devoted to that word. And not just in a general way for kind of like life lessons, but how the word of God, the gospel, Jesus' own words speak to us in the, in the circumstances in which we, we are living at any one time. Really devoted to say, how is this speaking to me in this period in my life? Really gazing on uh, the gifts in the altar, appreciating more and more what happens on our altar when the gifts that are placed there become the true presence of Jesus. Tonight, in a moment, not in a moment, but shortly, Zachary will do this thing that, is, that still amazes and astonishes me every time. And for the first time, for Zachary, he is going to hold Jesus in his hand. Everything that is Jesus, we talked about this a couple weeks ago, Everything that is Jesus, his whole human life, the fullness of his divinity, everything that is Jesus, he's going to hold in his hand for the first time. I know that will be an inspiration to each of us tonight when we come up to take our turn <coughs> to once again be overwhelmed at the idea that I'm holding everything that Jesus is in my hand tonight. There's an awful lot of ways to know Jesus better. An awful lot of ways to know that Jesus knows us. And in spite of it, teasing, he, because he knows us so well, he loves us more than we can imagine. <coughs> but let's keep imagining it. And let's keep striving for it. Pondering more, gazing more deeply into the wonderful mystery that is God's love for us. <coughs> now, Zachary, Christopher, I, I explained to you how simple this ceremony is. I'm changing things just in the smallest way so that I can stay here at the ambo and the people will hear the prayers of consecration. But I am going to ask you to come forward now. Come all the way up to here, though. And when, when it's time for the sacred prison, I'll get Deacon Ed to take care of that. Now, stay right there. David, do we need to move it all so that our blessed Easter candle is in, not in the way? Zachary, of your own free will, you have asked to be received into the full communion of the Catholic Church. You have made your decision after careful thought and under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. 
I now invite you with your sponsor and in the presence of this community to profess the Catholic faith. In this faith, you will be one with us for the first time at the Eucharistic table of the Lord Jesus, the sign of the church's unity. I believe and profess all that the Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God. Zachary, the Lord receives you into the Catholic Church. His loving kindness has led you here so that in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you may have full communion with us in the faith that you have just professed in the presence of this family. Zachary, of course, has already been baptized in the Pentecostal tradition in which he grew up. And so uh, his reception into our Catholic faith is that very simple profession. Let, let me see that again. I believe and profess all that the Catholic Church believes, teaches, and proclaims to be revealed by God. I know every one of you can say that along with him. And again, as I say, I hope that it's a, a real kind of affirmation of all of our faith tonight. Another profound but simple ceremony is that we, uh, I will now celebrate the sacrament of confirmation with Zachary. When our confirmation class of teenagers receive confirmation as a group, the bishop comes and honors us, and it is uh, the appropriate role of the bishop to celebrate confirmation. But when an individual adult is being received into the church, being confirmed, making their first communion, then the local pastor has the great honor to celebrate the sacrament of confession. And it always means a great deal to me to call down the fullness of the Holy Spirit and all the Holy Spirit's gifts to our newly welcomed Catholics. There first of all is a consecrating prayer and as a sign of the calling down of the Spirit I simply hold my hand out and then even more simply Zachary will be anointed with our sacred chrism. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your Son from sin and gave him your new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon him now to be his helper and guide. Give him the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill him with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Deacon Ed. Peace be with you. Bless you, son. Bless you. Let's bless him once again.
Let's all stand. In our faith, let's all stand with Zachary's faith and offer our prayers that all people will feel the power of God's love in their life, that all people will grow closer and closer in faith. That the church become the cornerstone and refuge for all people, especially those who are in most need, we pray to the Lord. That the government leaders demonstrate kindness to its people according to God's plan, we pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That all trust the Lord and take refuge in him, our Savior, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the members of this faith community Rejoice in the knowledge that Jesus, the Good Shepherd, laid down his life for us. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That God send good candidates for the position of pastoral assistant and business manager. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. That the Lord have pity on the sick and the infirm of the parish and hold those deceased in his loving arms, especially for the esteemed joy of John G. McChrystal. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, may the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, Fill the hearts of all the faithful so that together we can give honor to you and grow together in your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated so that we can say the blessing over the gifts that will become the body and the blood of Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this wine and this water, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in all we have. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be acceptable to you. Be pleasing to you. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen. And therefore overcome with paschal joy 
Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather up people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you reconciled us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and John our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people that you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. And there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And so we offer our, uh, our lives in gratitude and in faithfulness to the Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. With the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Lamb of God, of course, we will invite. Uh, Zachary to come forward first with his sponsor and his fiance. Stand on either side of Zachary and you'll come right to the center here. After they have received and returned to their places, then Deacon Ed and I will go to the regular spots on either side and we'll have communion as usual. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you're under my roof.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures 
the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. One more time, I'm going to ask Zachary and Claudia to come and stand up here. Come on up. This is the part I did not warn you about. Come all the way up. Turn. So, uh, as we're celebrating these sacraments, uh, Claudia and Zachary are prepared to celebrate the sacrament of marriage in just one week, right? Two weeks. <laughs> just two weeks. That's all I needed you to do is just be blessed. One more time. You can go back to your places. But blessings on both of your families, blessings on both of your moms and dads uh, who have brought you here to this moment and who will so happily bring you to that moment in two weeks. So a uh, blessing on that ceremony in all of you gathered. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.